Hello everyone, today I'm going to make this crazy hyperlapse effect in Premiere Pro. You can make this effect on hyperlapse or timelapse video footage. So first import and add your footage to the Premiere Pro timeline. Then find the frame where you want to start this effect. In my case, I want to start from this frame. Now click on the M button in your keyboard to add a marker here. Then move a few frames forward, where you want to finish this effect. In my case, I would like to make this effect in 20 frames. Then add another marker here. Now we need to export each frame between these two markers. So add in and out points to these markers. Then go to export. Set the location where you want to export them. Create a new folder. Then just click on save. Select the format as PNG. Now just click on export. Let's check the output location. As you can see, I have 20 PNG images frame by frame. For the next step, we have to use the AI generative fill, but there are two easy ways to make it happen. First we can use the Adobe Firefly, and second we can use the Adobe Photoshop beta app. Let's try the first process, so open any web browser. Then go to the firefly.adobe.com. Here you will get the generative fill option. And now it's free to use for everyone. So click on generate. Now upload the first PNG image here. Take the add brush tool. Then erase the object you want to generate. In my case, I want to generate the dome part. Then click on generate. And it will take a few moments to generate the similar image. As you can see, it gives us four different images. But if you are not happy with them, then click on more. So again this will create four different images that match our image. Now select one of them which matches with your image. In my case, it looks perfect for me. Then just click on download. Let's check out the generated image. It looks good, but you can see there is a little watermark on the image. But we can easily remove the watermark in Photoshop. So let's move to the Photoshop application. Open the generated image here. Again open the original image. Then move to the generated image, click Ctrl plus A to select the entire image, then click on Ctrl plus C to copy this image. Go to the original image, and click Ctrl plus V to paste it here. As you can see this image is perfectly matched with our original image. Now add a layer mask on the generative image by clicking on this icon. Then click Ctrl plus I to invert the mask. Now take the brush tool, and set the foreground color as white. Then simply draw in the generated area inside your image. As you can see, it works perfectly. And you can easily remove this watermark by doing this simple step. Now export this image by clicking on Alt plus Shift plus Ctrl plus W. Then click on Export. Create a new folder to save the generated images. This will be the first frame. So I am renaming it to number 1. Then click on Save. Now you've to generate all of the images with different objects. And you can do this in the same way, by using the Adobe Firefly Generative Fill. Now let's see the second process, how can you generate the images in Photoshop Beta? I've already made a detailed video, how can you transform a video by using the Adobe Generative Fill? You can check it out under the description link. Now open all of the exported images in Photoshop Beta. Then move to the first image. Select the pen tool, and draw a path around the object you want to generate. And here you can use any selection tool. And it totally depends on your image. Then right click on your mouse and select make selection. It will select your object. Then click on generative fill. And here I would like to generate a similar object. But you can generate any different object. You just need to type the prompt here. So let's type here, fill with similar image. Then click on Generate, and it will take a few moments to process the full image. Here you can see, 
it gives me three similar results like the original one. Then choose an image from these variations. I think it looks perfect for me. Now export this image by clicking on Alt plus Shift plus Control plus W. Then click on Export. I've already generated the first image by Adobe Firefly. So this on will be the second frame. And I am renaming it as number 2. Then click on Save. Now continue this process to all of the images. And generate them with different variations. Then going back to the Premiere Pro. Double click on the project window to import the generated images. Select the first generated image, and enable the image sequence, so it will import all of the images as a video clip. Then click on open. Now add this clip above on your marker in the timeline. Let's see a quick preview. As you can see, the generated images are perfectly matched with my footage. But the video is moving so fast, we need to slow down the video a little bit. So first we need to export the video. Go to export. Browse the location where you want to export it. Change the format as H.264. Then click on export. Again import the exported video clip. Then right click on it, and select new sequence from clip, so it will make a new sequence with this video. Now find the frame where the generated image starts. And make a cut here, by clicking on Ctrl plus K. Again move the time indicator where the generated image ends, and make another cut here. Then move the last part a little bit forward. Now right click on the middle part, and select speed and duration. Decrease the speed to 50%. Under the time interpolation, select optical flow. And click on OK. Then attach the right part. And that's all for this effect. Now let's export it and watch the final preview. Thanks for watching. If you really enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. To get more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Then enable the bell icon, to be notified of our next one. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day.